I'm back. We're filming a new series. There is a reason I'm here in Seattle, Washington. We, well, I drove out yesterday, rented this car, and tonight we are flying out, me and Oso are flying out to LA where we're gonna go and look at a dream car of mine. Uh, been presented with a unique opportunity to get one for like an extremely good price. It is an extremely good price. That's why I'm flying out there to go and see the car because with buying it sight unseen, obviously I could set myself up for a world of hurt and I figured I would risk the amount of money to fly there, make sure the car is not a bust, because if it is, then I at least only lose that and I'm not stuck with a car that I can't fix or sell or whatever. The car is a 2005 Lotus Elise, um, something I've dreamed of having all my life, basically, um, adult life anyways. It's been damaged. It's a sideswiped Lotus Elise, so if you know the car, they are all fiberglass and very expensive to repair. The gentleman who's selling the car just doesn't want to deal with it. And after a couple months of persuading and, you know, talking and giving them my story, they have decided to sell the car. Me and Osa are going to go on an adventure to see it. So we're going to test drive it, go around it, look over it, make sure it's worth our time. And if it is, then I will be buying the car. It'll be a cool video of the whole process and eventually driving it back up to Canada, where I live. So this is the first video and the first day of the adventure. <laughs> All right, so we made it. We're standing in wherever the hell we are, 2J, 2J. And we are going to make it to the spot. We're both tired. It's like 1.10 in the morning. But what can you do except for enjoy yourselves? So I'll pick this back up tomorrow in the morning. Good night. We're surrounded by cats. Wild street cats, I guess. So cute. And uh, me and Oso are going for breakfast and then we're uh, gonna go and figure out where the car is and we're gonna look. I'm cooking in the Californian heat. I have anxiety about the car we're gonna go and see. Not anxiety, I'm just nervous. Now we've gotta make our way up to Ontario. Is that where we're going? Riverside. Riverside? Um, to go and see the car. Just pulled up to the house. It happens Phil lives right next door to the car. And if uh, you haven't been able to tell by now, it is a Lotus Elise. This is the first time I've ever seen it. Definitely looks like it's been sitting in the sun, but that is obviously what we expect. Okay, so I'm not gonna film uh, the deal and talking with the guy, cause I don't wanna do that, but we'll uh, film going around the car and stuff, checking it out after I speak with them. And yeah, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so they're not here, so I'm just going to show you guys the car. This is the extremely good deal that I've been talking about. It's really bright, so. First impressions on it are is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, obviously, the body damage is pretty bad, but that's why it's a good deal. Um, I guess it was hit and run on the side of the road, so 
but overall it's actually nicer than I thought which is really good I expected it to be like exceptionally bad and the underside to be absolutely fucked but just looking at it makes me want to save it so hopefully we can make a deal because <laughs> this is a dream but like look at the look how cracked the PPF is <laughs> And like all of that here too. <laughs> we'll get to look inside in a bit when they get here, but the interior is complete. It's just very uh, not taken care of. Okay, so beyond the absolute madness, which is this interior because it's so dirty, everything is actually in reasonable shape. With like 30 hours of detailing, it would actually be okay. And underneath of these uh, seat covers, the seats are actually fine. So that's amazing. Obviously this side damage and all the fiberglass damage is gonna be expensive to fix, but if we get this for a good enough deal, it's all gonna be worth it. As you, if you can tell, I'm like a little bit nervous just cause I'm excited to talk to them, but I'm very happy that uh, this is good. It is a little bit of a daunting um, thing to look at, I must admit, but it's all there and it's all just body damage. Um, and I know that I can buy the panels if I need to, but the plan is, is Moonlight Runners um, is gonna actually do all the fiberglass work. So, yeah, but I'm just, just look at it. Like these are such beautiful cars. This one, not so much yet. But if we can make a deal, it will be. Um, so yeah, the story behind this is I heard a rumor that this car was here and it turns out homie lives right beside him. But after like a month of asking around, I finally got this guy's number who owns it and it wasn't for sale, but talked to him, talked to him, said I would come down and see it. No, no, no. We kind of made a loose deal and here I am. And <laughs> man, I am excited. We're gonna get to test drive it because it runs and drives good. And the tires are like new, like look at the tires. One thing I gotta say too, is it's a good thing that the car is actually driven. Uh, it was clearly loved and appreciated um, for what it is, maybe not visually taken care of, but I mean, look, he's got a Lotus sign. Obviously, this whole side sill from there to here needs to be replaced or fixed. This as well, and there's some damage up here on the front clam, which sucks, but I did find a one for sale here in LA. Also, the door is fucked. So essentially that entire side of the car needs to be fixed or replaced. If it looks like I'm stressed, I'm not. I'm just deeply thinking about like the steps to take to fix it. Again, if the car is as good as a deal as we think it's gonna be, it's gonna be totally worth fixing because mechanically it's all good. I just went through and looked at all the suspension, the t uh, wheel bearings, the brakes, um, shone a light up and looked at the frame. Uh, it's all intact, not splitting or anything. So <laughs> I'm excited and nervous. Well, I guess it's test drive time. Kind of got to... Going to have to like... Yeah, maneuver out of here, but do it should, should be good. Thing. If you... Let's start it off. Dude, the door handles. <laughs> you want me to hold that? I guess, yeah, we might as well take that. Yeah, just keep that angle and you should be able to get out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm driving a Lotus. So we got the car, I gotta clean the lens. All right, so we've got the car on the road, driving it. As you can see, it rips, it sounds amazing. And uh, it handles amazing, it drives amazing. It's everything I imagined a Lotus would be. Um, aside from the obvious things, like it's extremely disgusting. <laughs> This dog's barking. Oh, so is gonna drive the car. See him get in it. I can't. <laughs> How this old ass dude get this shit, bro? I know. It sounds sick. Sitting in a Lotus in California, honestly, never thought I'd be doing this. Yeah. So we're bringing the car back. Pretty confident I'm buying it. I just, I gotta talk to him and see if he'll give me a little bit of a better price. There are a lot of little things in here that will drive me insane. I'm gonna be back in Canada, like, wishing. Wishing I would uh, be able to fix it, but. The owner of this car, current owner, is actually 90 years old or something like that. Like, dude is, yeah. <laughs> Can't drive this anymore. That's also why it's so suspect inside. He just kind of let it go, but that's where we come in and give it a new life. Give it new uh, stories, new adventures, make it cool. Bring it to Canada. Okay, so we bought it and he gave me this book. I don't know what to say, dude. I'm so excited. It's been like, fuck, like 10 years. I've been talking about getting one of these things. Obviously, it's like a huge project visually, but it's going to be amazing. So the plan, the plan is to get it all fixed with Moonlight Runners, fixed as much as we can. And then in the spring or whenever, I'm going to, I'm going to drive it back up to Canada. Or dude, if they get it done earlier, should put winter tires on it and drive it <laughs> back up. That'd be sketchy, but it's something I would do. So now we're gonna drive it for food. We look out of the parking lot, and I would imagine it not looking like shit. What do you think, dude? Oh yeah, congrats. <laughs> I'm here in the parking lot. We already ate tacos, but like, <laughs> dude, this car looks so bad. It's sick, but it looks like bad. Look at that. Like, what is that? 
But regardless of how it looks right now, driving it around in LA to go and get food is like surreal to me. As clapped as it is, it's still amazing. This is the start of the journey of the Lotus build. 2005 Elise Bordeaux Red. I honestly don't think I'm gonna paint it right away because this paint coat is very expensive and rare from what I understand. So I'm gonna just do all the body work, uh, primer, fiberglass, et cetera, et cetera, and then um, wrap it to start. This is where we end the video. Until next time, whatever that is. Maybe I'll film a bit more tomorrow when uh, I actually go get the title signed over. Um, and look at this thing. Now that is cool. It's a Mira, if you didn't know. Rare paint code. Dude, it's the same as that Tahoe. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint it Tahoe red.